So today I started my little experiment on CAN communication with um, ESP32. Uh, I'm still using this device and I've connected my CAN line. Although I've connected my scan tool, I'm not using the scan tool now. But um, after writing the code, allowing ChatGPT to write the code for me, you can see the CAN communication that goes on. So it's... Uh, the ID shows ID 7 DE which tells me that it is from this ECU so whenever my scan tool tries to communicate with it so let me place it somewhere I think it will be safe let me place it somewhere so what I have done is it's now showing me the can messages so I'm trying to uh, focus I'm trying to write code for it so you can see the can message going on so this is the can message from the ECU so let me place it here and see if anything will change uh, after connecting my scan to it and let's see if we'll be getting the ID so you let me use normal OBD so that one it can send query to the ECU so it's now scanning for the ECU let me see if the ID will be changing you can see now you are getting some IDs so this is just to monitor my CAN system if you can see um, the 1801 is from my VCI which has also connected to the CAN line and is trying to is try using different different protocol trying to communicate with the ECU through the OBD so if you can see it's just changing the IDs so that to see if it will be able to identify the right ID uh, to communicate with the ECU but up to now I've not been able to communicate with it successfully so after this, I'll do auto scan and see if I'll be able to find anything. Or I can turn on my 120 ohm resistor on the can line to see if I'll see any different. And also I can use my, from the code, I can use my tablet to do that. And also here, let me do my monitoring. So you can see the ID you are getting. So you can see that there is scan communication. And when you see this, I think this should be the ID for my scan tool. So those are the IDs. And you are getting different, different ID because the scan tool is trying to communicate with it on a different protocol. So we are still getting all these messages trying to see if it will be able to communicate with this device so now that i have no communication let me go back and let me go back oh so anything that i do on my machine it will it will happen on the other one so you can see i'm using this to monitor it uh, after this i'm going to try to use some two softwares to see how far i can go with them but for now let me try and see if i'll be able to even read even this ecu is having an issue it was blowing fuses and we replaced it and the problem went off so let me see if it will be able to read even if not to be like that i have not sent power so by now they should be able to read everything for me and let me see if my can messages has changed and all these messages are messages i think the um scan tool is trying to communicate with the ecu so it will try different different ids till it gets the right id for the ecu so that they can communicate on the same oh it looks like okay the the ids are the same so i don't know what's going on i'm new with this so 
I'm not learning about it. And let's see, can message sent? I don't know if also my scan, uh, my device is the one trying to send these messages cross board because i built it uh, i made the ai build it and it built it such a way that it can send and receive messages so it says reading vin fill let me turn off my 120 ohms let me try it again and see if it is going to read yeah so you can see i just got the vin because my 120 ohm was on whilst this one doesn't need the 120 ohm so i was able to communicate with it let me see if i'll be able to identify the point at which i was able to communicate with it so what i'm going to do now is um let me do another communication let me clear everything and see So I'll, I'll use my other machine, I'll close this one and try again and bring you guys back. So with this one, I was trying to see if I'll be able to communicate with my setup on my phone. So you can see I've connected with my ESP32 so that I can monitor the can messages moving up and down with my phone so now you can see in this all these are can messages going on on the can line between the control board and the and my um scan tool but most of these messages are from the control board itself so with this one what i'm doing is i'm trying to build a device that can be able to read data on a can line with ESP32 and because the ESP32 has what we call uh, Bluetooth in it and Wi-Fi that's why I'm able to monitor the can messages on my phone with the help of the AI so now you can see my can monitoring working and it also works on my OLED screen so now it's working perfect. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.